Okay, I'm gonna show how to start the generator. Uh, I currently don't have a generator on this solar uh, trailer, but it's uh, very similar to how you do an equalization charge. You just hit the down arrow until you get to operation, and then you come down to X, uh, operation generator, enter, and now this little menu here, as soon, and it, it'll probably be dash, 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 unless you're already in a mode. If you hit enter, you're gonna see this guy will start blinking. Here we go, Boom. Now he's blinking. Now when he's blinking, if I hit this, I can go to auto, which is generally what we are, stop, start, and run one hour. Uh, the run one hour is kind of nice, like if you're a little low or you know you're gonna be cooking and you know you're just gonna be like, uh, doing, a, you're gonna be doing a heavy power draw. You can just say, oh, I'm gonna go start the generator and let it run for one hour while I'm doing the cook or you know running the AC or something. And the generator can just help offset some of the power usage so you don't just drain your batteries. Um, and I, I like to use it for when I'm testing it, like I'll just tell it to turn on for an hour. Uh, but in this case, I, if I said start, it would want a confirmation and now it's actually, I don't know if you heard the click, but right now it's trying to start a generator even though there is not a generator connected. Uh, and it will continue to try to start that generator. Uh, I think it does it like three or four times for about 15 minutes and then it will give up and then it'll try that three times in a row and then it will give you a big error. Now, if the generator was running and you come over and you say hit this and now I'm select mode and I go to stop when I hit stop, it's gonna want a confirmation and then I say yes. Now, what it would normally do right now is it would disengage from the generator, but it would continue to run the generator for the cool down time. And the cool down time is typically five minutes. Uh, initially, I was uh, lowering that, but after actually seeing the heat uh, that the generators can get up to, uh, that, that cool down time actually is really good for the generators because it just lets them cool down. So I, I and then after five minutes, the generator will then shut off. Now, uh, I have had situations where if the inverter is below the critical point, sometimes it's 50%, sometimes it's 40%, or if it's even lower down in the 20% range, it could be close to doing the emergency set. Um, I have had situations where while the generator is cooling down, the inverter turns right around and says, turn it on, and then it will actually engage the generator again, <laughs> which that, that can be frustrating sometimes when you're trying to stop it. So there's a little trick I learned that if you come in here on a second time and let's get into the menu, now it's blinking, we go down to stop a second time. So if you do stop and then you do stop again, it will immediately stop the generator and bypass the cooldown time, which is kind of nice. Now, of course, this is only really applicable to the trailers that have generators on them, or if you've added a generator that's actually tied into the auto start capabilities of the uh, master uh, inverter. So, all right, well, anyway, I will uh, go back and just say stop one more time, make sure we're out of that, exit out of that, and there you go. Hope this video is helpful to somebody.